Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Maricola, fantasy artist and illustrator, and welcome to my Muddy Colors Art Tip of the Month. I was recently asked by someone if I use the constructive drawing method when I work on my own drawings. And the answer to that is yes, I almost always do. Now for those of you out there that don't know what constructive drawing is, I'm going to demonstrate that for you so that you can use it when you sit down to work on your drawings. All right, so let's get started. Now, constructive drawing is a way for you to begin your drawing using simple, primitive shapes to represent the form you are drawing. I've started by drawing a slightly rounded rectangle for the torso, uh, then a box for the midsection of the figure, followed by a triangular shape for the pelvis. The character I imagined is kneeling, so I draw cylindrical type shapes for the thighs. At this point, I modify that central line I drew in the beginning so it has a bit more curve to it so I understand the figure I'm drawing is arching her back somewhat. I indicate with simple circles where the upper arms attach to the torso, now followed by cylindrical shapes for the upper and lower right arm. So you see how constructive drawing can be a very useful way to approach drawing something more complex like a human figure. In the same way I drew circles for where the arms attach to the torso, I draw a circle as the base for where the neck attaches to the torso. I then draw the shape of the head, including an indication of the front plane of the head, followed by horizontal lines for placement of eyes, nose, and mouth. Now the drawing I'm working on here is made up completely from my imagination. I sat for a few minutes to visualize what I wanted, and then I set about using constructive drawing to flesh it out. Here's another version of the drawing, and I time-lapsed this so it doesn't drag on forever. But you see that once I have used constructive drawing to make my simple forms, I start getting slightly more detailed with those forms, even pressing down harder with the pencil to make my lines stand out more. Another thing I will sometimes do is draw in contour lines along various forms, like muscles, to help me understand which way that form is turning. This is especially helpful when I am moving toward a final drawing and need to work out lighting and need to understand where the highlights land on a form or where the shadows fall. All right, so that is my constructive drawing method. Now, if you are very new to drawing, you might consider getting yourself a visual aid such as a wood mannequin like this. Uh, it's already made up of very basic shapes. It's easy to position, and then you can just draw what you see, uh, and then slowly build onto that all of the, the flesh and the details and the hair uh, for your drawing. Um, but if you're very, like I said, very, very new to drawing, then you know maybe get yourself something like that. It'll help. Now, there is one other thing that I want to mention. I've seen a few places online where people have implied that Constructive drawing is only used when you're drawing from your imagination. Um, that you use observational drawing skills when you are drawing from life. And I completely disagree with this. Um, it doesn't matter whether you are drawing from life, from a live model, whether you are drawing from your imagination, or whether you are copying a photograph. Constructive drawing skills can be used in all of those situations, and I have used that in all of those situations. So it's just a method, like you've seen me demonstrate here, of breaking down what you're looking at into very simple shapes first, and then building upon that more and more detail and working out all of that. But it just, it helps you get those proportions and everything down early, and then you can build upon it. So constructive drawing, get out there and try it. You're probably already doing it and you don't even know it, but uh, I hope that helps, all right? Thanks for watching, bye.